Hello, hello. Happy Sunday to everyone. Um, today I'm just going to be playing around with some Distress Oxide inks and just creating a background. Um, that background, I will not necessarily be attaching it to any card today, but just, um, you know, just something to consider if you're looking for, um, you know, just co color. So I am going to be playing around with different shades of green because from what I understood, when you're using the Distress Oxide inks, you can actually see the differentiate the different um, colors. And I want to definitely see that using just green. I would like to say thank you to my subscribers, future subscribers, and those who stop by to watch my videos. I truly appreciate it. So let's go ahead and dive in. I have a few here. The first one I have is Crushed Olives. So I'm just going to do a light, you know, some sort of a something on here. And I'm going to spritz it up with the, um, with the spray. I also have a bit of tissue right there. And I'm going to just spray it lightly. Just some water drops. Now this is an old, you know, just the back of a card gone bad. So I'm just going to utilize it for something else. So the first thing I'm going to do is just this. So I'm going to leave this like that. Because I, um, I saw a couple of videos from Tim Holtz, you know, about, um, you know, getting the colors. So this is the first one. I'm going to wipe this off. And then I'm just going to lightly dab this because I want to move forward, you know, for purposes of the video. But if you also have a, what you call it, um, heating, you know, you know, tool or something to dry it up quicker. Now, the first one I used was crushed olives. I'm going to now use rustic wilderness. Same thing. So I'm going to go through every step so that you can see. So, so far we see the two colors. Okay, so let's go with the next one, which is peeled paint. Which is kind of close to um, one of the other ones, but I just want to see how well you can differentiate the colors. Okay. Pine needles. And finally, Evergreen Bro. Mm. I I pronounced that correctly. Sorry if I didn't. So this is a, a like a warmer color. Okay, so let's see. So I have I am done. Um, hopefully, you can see the different shades in here. It's um, some of them are close. But that's basically a Distress Ink background, all greens. So, um, you know, you can use it anyhow you want to, whether you cut it down or use it as it is, and then add your sentiment on top of that with your embellishments. It's entirely up to you. But um, I hope you, um, you know, have some other ideas on what you can do with Distress Oxide Inks to create your backgrounds. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.